I'm Mike McCullough at the University of Miami. I'm a professor of psychology and I direct the Laboratory for Social and Clinical Psychology. We know that millions of people are going to make New Year's resolutions this year and the resolutions are going to be about a pretty small number of areas of life. They're going to be about their health, they're going to be about better achievement at work, uh, they're going to be about getting along better with their friends and families. And those, those are kind of the major domains that people will be trying to focus on this next year as they try to change their behavior. So I think it's really interesting to think about how for some people they will bring their religious beliefs into play to try to help them along with those resolutions. We don't have the research on this yet, but if I were a betting man I would bet that we'd find over the long haul that those people who do bring in their religious faiths to try to uh, uh, set their goals for behavioral change over the next year are going to be more successful in the long run for having done so. A really important part of self-regulation is the ability to set goals for yourself. You know, if you think about any area where you want to change what you're doing or even maintain what you're doing, somewhere in your head there needs to be a goal that tells you here's where I want to be or here's where I want to stay. So that might be something simple like um, I need to, I want to lose weight, right? Or I want to stop smoking or I want to exercise more or I don't want to be as mean to the people I work with, right? Somewhere in your head there's a goal. And what religion seems to be really good at is helping people define those goals so that they're attainable and encouraging people to delay gratification Right? Not to take small rewards now in the short term, but instead to wait and, and um, uh, invest their efforts in solutions to their problems that will pay off in the long term. And of course, that's really what self-control is about. Self-control is about a willingness to forego rewards right now, right? Um, to, um, to not spend the $50 or the $500 rebate from the government and instead to put it in the bank and wait until it builds some interest and then use it to buy something you really want later on when you've managed to make more money with it. So that's really what self-control is about and it's so important for health and well-being and social behavior that we started wondering is it possible that religion exerts some of its benefits on health and well-being and social behavior because of its ability to encourage self-control, to reduce impulsiveness, to, re to improve people's abilities to delay gratification. And that's really what our work has been about for the last couple of years.